All right, let's talk money. Really hoping the weather holds up today. The rainy season's ending here, but it's still, today looks a little bit sketchy. So a couple of days ago in one of my videos, I said that cow mangai was like one of the last things that I hadn't eaten yet that I really love eating. And then I realized I haven't had a Tom Yum yet. I love Tom Yum soup. And this morning I woke up just craving it. So I'm heading to a great street food place just near here. They make an awesome Tom Yum and I'm excited. So I put out my video just recently talking about how I'll never work a real job again and now that I've found YouTube, you know, I'm making a great income from this and the majority of the comments I got on that video were actually really positive and people were very encouraging but there were a couple of negative ones and that, like they don't bother me personally but the message that people were trying to give across so one of them said like I think the comments said something along the lines of he probably only made a hundred dollars off this video don't believe the hype kids and another one was people shouldn't listen to this guy he's lying to you you can't make money on this and there was one more I don't remember the specifics of it but basically they were trying to discourage other people from trying to become a YouTuber. Now, I don't care what people say to me or about me. You know, I know I make a great living from this. What I don't like is people discouraging other people from doing this kind of thing. I know I have a lot of aspiring YouTubers that follow me and people, they're always interested in the journey and, and if they can do this as well. And for these people that don't know anything, to discourage people from chasing their dreams is just, oh, I hate that. Now, the number one most desired job amongst the youth at the moment is to be a YouTuber. And while it's not easy to be successful on this platform, it can be incredibly lucrative and it's definitely not something that should be discouraged. So this little street food place, I actually featured in my top five street food destinations video that I did here in Bangkok. It's just up ahead. Oh, I can't wait to eat this. I love Tom Yum. I don't know why I hadn't thought of having it until today, but I was craving it all day and this place does it really well. So I featured this, as I mentioned, I featured this in my top five street food video. Come check this place out. It's in that video. There's a Google map link, everything you need to come here. This is awesome. Okay, thank you, bye-bye. Oh yeah, awesome lunch as always. Love that place. All right. Let's talk money. So I've just come around to Limpini Park for a bit of a walk around here. So I'll explain firstly how I get paid and how this works and all the other opportunities that you can earn money from this as well. Because there's people on YouTube earning millions of dollars a year. It's actually surprisingly lucrative. Okay, so obviously I'm sure you know, I get paid from the ads that run at the beginning and the middle of these videos. I think there's one at the end as well. And the amount you get paid on depends on the demographic of your audience, the, lo the location of your audience, and also the time of year comes into play as well. Now, the location is a really big factor in this. There's countries like the Philippines that pays quite low, Philippines and India, they're a couple of the lowest. They will pay you about 70 cents for every thousand views. Whereas somewhere like the US, UK or Australia, they pay up to $5 for every thousand views for a genre like this. There's other genres that earn considerably more depending on what their demographic is. So people like that do beauty videos because they can sell products directly through those videos. A lot of those channels, they can actually earn much more money per thousand views. Now, another factor that you need to keep in mind is that while I put up a video every single day, that only makes for about half or, or even less of my views, my total views for that day. See, I've got over 300 videos on YouTube and they're all constantly getting small views. Other videos that are on a topic that's quite interesting or something that's never gonna get outdated, they continue to get solid views and they're constant money earners for you as well. Now, on top of ad revenue, we also get all sorts of things. I did a video recently talking about the side hustles I get on YouTube. I'll leave a link for that at the end of this video. But there's all different ways we earn on YouTube as well. For example, we've got brand deals, sponsorships, I did. I do, I do one with Surfshark VPN, that was in my video that I put out yesterday or the day before. 
they pay me I got I got paid to review that drone I've also been sent another product that I'm getting paid to review on a video as well but on top of that I've got things like Amazon affiliate links I have an affiliate link to my insurance company that I use check them out <laughs> I sell clothing I get donations people send me tips so there's all these other little things as well so just this month alone I earn a little over 1500 US dollars for all those things combined so that's just what I make on the side not including my YouTube ad revenue so last month my channel got 655,000 views which is a pretty standard month I didn't actually do a video every single day I think I missed three or four days because I was doing flying in and out of Vietnam and there was a day so I think I missed four because there was a day I missed due to like Wi-Fi issues and then I had a video that I couldn't get monetized so I actually ended up putting up that video for free but I didn't earn any money on that video I averaged a little over five dollars for every thousand views last month so the ad revenue brings you up to around the three and a half thousand dollar mark now on top of the ad revenue I also did a couple of live streams that month I did two that month and if you've ever watched them <laughs> they're a whole lot of fun it's just me Dan, me and Dan hanging out and drinking and the deal that we have is I get paid for the live stream that we do on my channel and the ones we do on his channel he takes the money for that so they've been quite lucrative my best live stream made over a thousand dollars but the combined total for this month for those two was just a little under a thousand dollars I also get sent things like tips and super likes and super chats they all contribute to it too now just to clarify something this dollar amount that I'm talking about in all this this is after YouTube has taken its cut from all of these things now the brand deals and the sponsorships they're a very lucrative part of what we do for me personally I earn around $500 for each one of the the sponsorship reads or a product review or something like that that I do and as a creator you're trying to find the perfect balance of you know doing these ads and these sponsorships without your channel coming across like too much of a commercial so for me I, I mean ideally I do two a month so one every two weeks but stuff like the product reviews I'm, I'm actually interested in getting more because they're a lot of fun they make a fun video and if you can make it in a clever way it doesn't come across like your advertising for me reviewing that drone was a whole lot of fun and to think I got that drone for free and got paid to do it was just like that's awesome now the next step for me is kind of an interesting one it's definitely an exciting one and that's that I'm gonna be getting an agent so I'll be getting it's essentially a, a talent agent and this person they're gonna help you they help you get brand deals they help help you earn more money they also work on targeted advertising on your videos to earn you more money per video the great thing about this is the professionalism that comes along with that so you know for me to reach out to companies and brands you know from my from my Outlook email account I'm sure companies get millions of emails a day from people you know wanting sponsorships and brand deals and things like that but instead having an agent and I'm very fortunate with the agent that's taken interest in me they actually look after some massive massive youtubers I'll probably be one of the smallest creators on their platform but thankfully someone that works there they watch my videos and they, they've taken an interest in me Now the point of this video is not for me to sit here and talk about how much I'm earning but it's more to show what's possible and to not crush people's dreams and say it's unrealistic or you can't make money on this platform you know YouTube's top earners made over 50 million dollars last year in YouTube alone you know when I was aspiring to be a YouTuber it's hard to get the accurate information the information is out there but there's so much mixed information as well now I don't mind sharing this because as I said all my information is actually publicly available you can see how many views I'm making there's websites that show you how much you're earning they're completely inaccurate because they don't know they don't, they don't know your genre, they don't know your, your audience demographics, so the views and growth, they're all accurate. But what that doesn't show is how much you earn in like the live streams and, and tips and super thanks and things like that. And also the brand deals and, and sponsorships, which I mentioned earlier. I have a lot of parents reach out to me and say their kids want to be YouTubers and what, what is my advice to them and you know the advice is really simple it's don't make YouTube to be a YouTuber make YouTube to create great videos and if you create great videos then the rest will just happen. <laughs>